What is up, y'all boys? How we doing today? Hope you guys are doing blessed. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome into this video. It's gonna be a little more educational. We're gonna hop straight into how to use TradingView and how you can set it up to look the cleanest and the simplest. So let's hop straight into the video. All right, guys. So first things we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your normal web browser and we're gonna go ahead into the search bar and just search up tradingview.com. They should pop up just like this. So you won't need to sign up for any premium membership or anything paid at the beginning. You can just sign up for the $0 and it'll be completely free. So you're gonna go ahead and sign in with that. All right, so you guys are gonna look at this and once you make guys make your account, you're gonna go ahead and go to the search bar right up top and you're gonna go to XAU USD just to keep it simple. And this is how a Virgin Trading View looks like. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this up and how to make it clean and how to make it simple so you can look at the charts better and get better trades. First, we're gonna delete this down here. This is pretty much the volume. We don't need that to trade. So you're gonna double click on it and you're gonna go to visibility. You're gonna unclick all of these options right here and you're gonna click okay. And the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click here in the white space. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to canvas and you're gonna go to grid lines, none. So you'll see how everything looks cleaner now. You kind of see better see price action you can see everything pretty nice and forward so for the next thing is we're gonna go here back to settings and I usually keep my background white and I just go up here to symbol and you guys are gonna choose whatever color you want for the candles you can choose whatever you like I'll leave it green or red for the for the video and for the borders I like to do them black on both and for the wicks as well just because I, that's just how I like it. That's how I've been using it. And out here, pretty much, you don't got anything else to touch. Most of the stuff you won't be touching, you won't be using when you actually trade. So that's pretty much as clean as I can show you guys. All right, guys, so next I'm gonna hop into the toolbar. What you guys see here is all the way to the left is gonna be your tools, but there is an option you can, if you click on this arrow, it'll pop out so you can actually heart them and add them to favorites so it's easier for your use out here in this first tab i only have the cross I don't use anything else second tab i only use trend line horizontal ray and that's pretty much it keep it simple on this next tab here i here i use let me see let me see let me see i use nothing on this tab and nothing on this tab there's a lot of things you can use but there's a lot of things you won't need to use so on this tab i have long position short position and that's pretty much it on the next tab i have the arrow the rectangle the path the ellipse and then in the next tab i only have text and this you won't need anything like that and this you won't use this is your measuring tool you can actually measure price with this so once you click it you can just click again and it'll go wherever you want it to go you click again it stays there you click it one more time and it's gone so next we're going to be talking about the time frames i use and how you can add this up here so it's a little bit easier for you to swim through the time frames lately i've been using the daily the four hour the one hour and the 15 minute and they will pop up right here. You can kind of swim in between the time frames better and quicker. And for the indicators, I use the 50 EMA. So you're gonna, this one is called EMA. And you're gonna go down here towards community and you're gonna heart it, the EMA, the 20, the 50, and the 100. And this will be the settings. You will only see the blue one is the 50 EMA and you leave it like that. So that's perfect. The EMA just like that. That's the only indicator I use. All right, guys, so I'm gonna hop straight into the watch list. 
So what you, you guys want to do to add something to your watch list out here to the right is you're going to want to click this plus sign right here and you're going to search up whatever symbol you want and you're going to hit the plus button right here and you're going to add the red flag right here to the left and it should go right in there. If you want to go, let's see, this do another one. Your USD, you put your flag and you click the plus and it'll add right into there. If you guys want to look at NAS, if you guys want to look at US 30, whatever you guys want to look at, you can search it up right there and put it on the watch list. And you guys can go back and forth on the watch list and go ahead and do as you will. I pretty much went through the basics here. This is everything simple. I wanted to keep it as simple as I could. Uh, this is nothing going to be nothing about trading education or anything like that. This is just going to be about setting up your trading view and how you can look the cleanest and how you can kind of get used to it a little bit better. Remember, it's all about experience. Just if you don't have any experience, if you're trying to learn, just do what I told you and uh, you'll start getting more used to it and you'll start getting more accommodated into the app and into the website and you'll be able to look at it as if it was something you already knew for for a while so all right guys thank you for watching the video i want you guys to leave a comment and like if you guys use the info i give you guys in this video see you guys in the next one peace out